Welcome everybody to Style Click Media Social Tech Talk. The two founders of Style Click Media are now together on a live broadcast. And as you can see, we are this is just to give you a prime, just to give you an example of what we do. This is us every day. We telecommute from each other's respective homes and we talk about the things that we're getting ready to accomplish for the day or for the month or what branding projects we're going to do. So, or new uh, technologies that one of us, like you, find out <laughs> almost every day. <laughs> right. So, we talk about these things. And just to give you guys an example, I must test about 30 platforms a day mm -hmm. because I want to see what works. So, it's what do you think, Jamal? How many how many things do I how many links do I actually send you a day? Uh, I don't think you don't send me the thirty that you go through on a day on a regular daily basis, but you send me at least anywhere from five to ten, I think. Um, because it's one of those things, it's like we're always learning, you in particular, because you have more, uh, you're on the computer doing this stuff every day. So you just come across stuff. You're using one technology, do a quick Google search because you're looking for some help or something like that. And then like five others come up and it's like, all right, well, let's test this out to see if there's any better, you know? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I, uh, like right now I get 89 browser windows open. <laughs> I mean, people don't believe me. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up on the screen. Well, I got 10, and I only have one screen. My little, um, you know, I don't have the multiple screens on this particular setup. But, um, but I could easily have double that even on this one screen. So I could see how you could have 80 plus. Yeah, I want to see if I can show this screen. Because you got four screens you're dealing with, right? Yeah, but I'm going to show you on the uh, actual tab. Where is it? 91 windows open. Good Lord. 92, actually, because another one just popped up. <laughs> and But it's, I'm not using that much of my memory. Like, if you look at my performance, I'm using 21 gigs of 32. I still got 10 gigs of mm -hmm. uh, RAM to go. Mostly I'm using the internet. You see my speeds on the internet are astounding. That's a I good thing. That. You gotta have those speeds. Yeah. That's a waste. That, fa that fat <laughs> connection. Yeah, that's a I mean, in order to create videos and um, create the framing that we do, you mm -hmm. have to have multiple windows. I mean, I wish I could show you guys uh, what it looks like. I mean, I probably actually could with this um, and just actually so actually I could take my camera and move it, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's too much work. No, you don't have to do that. But, but I, don't I don't know if people really consider their internet speed when it comes to doing these video things. They try to get their computer all high powered, which is necessary as well. But then they try to utilize the stuff online and if their internet isn't up to par, then it's it's just not going to work. Stuff will take forever to render uh, or to even just upload. And you got to have that good speed, both on your computer as well as the internet. And it's, I, I just don't think most people consider that, you know, the whole whole package. They don't. Not only that, but, you know, a lot of people think that you do all this stuff from your phone. And that's not necessarily true because okay. majority of databases and these platforms run on servers. Mm -hmm. They don't run on mobile phone servers because there's no such thing. Dang, correct. So the PC is more compatible with the tools and the options that are needed to configure. Just like, for instance, the difference between going on your phone and configuring a brand new page for Facebook versus doing it on your computer, mm -hmm. you're going to have way more options to choose from on your computer Yep. that you'll be able to do quicker because you have a wider screen and it's made for that. Mm -hmm. It's going to condense it down to the mobile aspect of it. But at the same time, it's not going to uh, render on your phone like it would on your computer. Just like when I make uh, video edits in Premiere Pro, 
Mm -hmm. I export them to the format for phones and they come out really crisp because of the fact that I'm exporting them to that size of an environment. Right. You know, the mobile and, and uh, Internet of Things devices are devices that, um, you know, they, they're made, they're, they're front end devices. They're not back end. See, a PC is front and back. You can mm -hmm. build a website on your PC and look at it right there on the browser. You can see the front end and back end. You don't even right. need to have it go to a host. You can see it for yourself to see if it works. Yeah, the mobile is, is ideal for catching quick information like you want to capture a video you want maybe want to do a quick post but when you're setting things up you definitely need to have that computer because like you said there's far more features that you have available on the computer and i mean it's just easier to maneuver as well because uh, you don't have to look at that little bitty screen um but shoot once you have it set up though if you do it correctly then you can get your content you can, um, like I was saying, post some nice videos or or nice pictures or whatever you're you're trying to do from your phone or other mobile device. But teeing it up and getting it all configured definitely need the computer. Yep. Yeah. That's you. Haven't spoken no further from the truth because. <laughs> and if you can, I'm just telling you, get an extra screen. I got oh, a yeah. stand here that can hold six screens. I got mm -hmm. three of them up right now. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you want to be able to multitask without straining your eyes or forgetting that a window is behind a window and you're like, oh, I forgot to do that. Because let me tell you what we run into when we do something, for instance. Say somebody comes up to me and says, I need a campaign run and I need it up and running by next week or tomorrow or two days from now. Mm -hmm. You think you're going to be able to do that with your phone? What if they don't even have the social platforms that they need to have in order to get the reach that they need? Right. You need to build those out. So you're going to need access to multiple browser windows. You're going to need access to multiple uh, streaming uh, situations. You might have to go to a stock videos or picture site mm -hmm. and pull down some quick stuff to make a quick teaser video or something so that you'll be able to create uh, something that's going to be eye-catching so that even if you don't have the other elements in place, that right there can take them straight to Eventbrite. Right. Then they go and do their investigation of the rest of your stuff. Well, we've already got that built right now. Mm -hmm. you know, and see, with us, we can do it in two days. It's not a big deal. The thing is, it takes a lot more than just building out all your pages and uh, we don't even start off with paid ads. We try to get you to do what we call grassroots marketing not even guerrilla marketing just grab <laughs> everything that you actually use that you can use for free for free yep. with, like mm -hmm. create an event and put 15 hosts on it you can put up to 15 hosts and you got to remember here's the reasoning behind putting the 15 hosts if i put an event out and i put myself on as a host i can invite up to 500 people mm -hmm. Okay, now that's beneficial if I'm doing a virtual event because anybody can come. But say if you're doing a local thing. Well, if you're doing a local thing, you want to put local people that have a following on as hosts. So when yep. they invite their people, it shows them as the host of the party. Yeah, some local yeah. folks. Right. That way, mm -hmm. you sit there and worry about, don't nobody know Brian Bacchus. Don't nobody know uh, Professor Slipman. <laughs> yeah, who is that? Right there, hey. right <laughs> Professor Slipman. He used to be Professor X, but he got the flat top off. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. okay. It should be Professor Slipmat. <laughs> yeah, Slipmatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was back in the, uh, you know, back in the day. But day. yeah, we're just two old guys sitting here talking about shit that we know about mm -hmm. that the new millennials team seem to skim over. Well, some of them don't, but the vast majority of them do because they're caught up on those the mobile devices. A lot of kids don't even utilize. I mean, just like we're talking about, they don't jump on the computer as well. See, we no. we do both. I mean, part of my, you know, other functions in terms of what I do require me to be in front of the computer all the time. But when I'm away from that, I do utilize a cell phone. And so I kind of know how to toggle between both of the two. And I know um, which one 
can better suit whatever task I'm trying to accomplish. Um, again, going back to what we're talking about, configuring certain platforms, man, computer is by far the best thing to do, you know, best uh, thing to use for that. But, you know, how often are you in front of a computer? For us, it's a lot, but once we're out in the field, we have it also set up so that we can do a lot of what we need um, instead of just posting, but doing some other unique stuff on the phones. We found a lot of little free things, one of those many things that you found each day um, in terms of uh, taking videos, editing videos, and all that stuff on a mobile platform. But when we want to make it super duper tight, that's when we take it to the to the laptop. But a good balance is is needed, and those millennials uh, or whatever the the new version of those kids are, um, you know, sometimes they don't they don't do the computer part. It's just the the mobile device. They're not even showing them in school now to do the computer part. They're learning on devices. They're not even doing keyboarding anymore. I mean, everything is swipe and tap, and it's well, a lost kids art. Chromebooks. And, yeah. And you can do both. Yeah, the thing is, they're not even showing them. I mean, you technically have to show your kids at home how to the keyboard because mm -hmm. they won't learn. And when it comes time to doing their papers, it's going to take them, unless they learn the art of voice to text, mm -hmm. which, I, of course, when I, you know, uh, hurt my arm a few years back and it was in that car accident, I, could, I still had to go to work. So... What I would do is when I typed in emails, I would go in my phone and I would voice text it and then I save it as a draft and then I go on the computer and actually edit it. Mm -hmm. You know, that way it's easier to do with one hand instead of trying to type the whole thing. Because of course I could type, but with one hand, I'm typing all the right side of the keyboard <laughs> straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but and it's easier to just edit a couple words here and there. Versus man, type especially the if thing. you got uh, Grammarly now, all you mm -hmm. got to do is just go click on that. It'll find all your grammar mistakes. Mm -hmm. But what most people don't understand, too, is there are over 200 social media application platforms. Out that there. still blows me away. Even and when I see it, it's just like, good gosh. 200. In fact, let me see if I can pull up. The website where it says it. Let's see. Some of the stuff is just like, what? Where? Where is that? I mean, granted, a few are only in certain countries or parts of the world, but some of them are worldwide, and there are tons of people on them. Yet, the vast majority of people don't know. Okay, I'm gonna share the screen and take it to the full list. We'll put this up all the way. So it's the full list of social media platforms for the English version. Click here. And this list has 250 social media sites. In fact, that's crazy. Let me zoom in on this so you can actually see this. 250 as of 2018. And as you can see, I'm just going to page down. So as you can see, the first few, we're already on. I mean, a lot of people aren't on half these. And still, I'm seeing some for the first time. TikTok, we're on. Flickr, we're on. Because you got to remember, Black Planet was the first one I was ever on in 1999. Oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> I remember that. My Life Social is that one that caused the... Uh, uh, Cambridge analytical scandal. Oh, that's right. <laughs> we need to get on meetup. That is another one. We need to do mm -hmm. some meetups at some bars. Uh, we need to do that. I wonder, um, I wonder if me is on there. Tumblr, Tumblr is a uh, blogging site. We're on there. That's one of those sleepers, though. People yeah, have heard of Tumblr, but I don't million. think they use it, though. MySpace, <laughs> gone, but you know, people still use it for uh, videos. Snapchat. Uh, there's WeChat. It's mostly China. One billion in China. Jeez. There's Anchor. You can send podcasts. Dig Social Dig. Network. Yeah. Um, some of these I don't know, but I'm just going. I'm going to go. Actually Wait, go back. Is, this, is huh? that cat cat sitter and dog sitter? Where you see that? Keep going back. Catster. Uh, 
It's oh, a social dirt. network for cat yeah. people. And, and dogster. dogster. I think we need to get on those. Catster and dogster. We, we should make one called cat dogster. <laughs> hey, man. You try, you, you, if you try catster, you try dogster. We try both at the same time, like that cartoon. Yeah, let's try. We need to try some dog catster. Do you remember Cat Dog? That cartoon? Yeah, I, I used to watch that. One. <laughs> that was so creepy. It was. It really, it really was. It's still real strange. Um, let's see. Next door. I like that one. I have to check that one out. Yeah, I use that. Okay, up let's the go to house. the next page. Oh, this is gonna be fun, folks. Nobody's ever brought you the whole list. There's Reverb Nation, so we got the SoundCloud. Story. Okay, now let me tell you guys something about SoundCloud. <laughs> We get a lot of our music from SoundCloud because a lot of the artists, like you know the artist uh, Jamal on um, InShot? Which one, Jeff? All or, of them. Yeah, they're, they're all on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. You can go download the, the music from there for free. It's free now. Nice. nice. So just thought I'd tell and you about it. And it's really good music too. Mines. Let's join Mines. Flick, <laughs> Flickster. <laughs> what is Mines? A network mines. that allows users to create channels. <laughs> I got Evernote. I don't know about Influencer. I know about Photo Bucket, but mine. <laughs> it just sounds crazy. Well, Moco saw, space. Okay. You know what Moco is in Spanish, right? Uh -uh. Booger. Oh, Lord. So why would they call it as Moco space? Booger space? There's oh. Cafe Mom for Cypher Mothers. Mm. Mothers can be. It's Eight million monthly visits. You guys see... The reason why we're bringing you this list is because you're missing. We have a saying at Style Click Media: you, your audience is where you are not. Mm -hmm. If if you're not on Crunchyroll, <laughs> <laughs> Crunchyroll, Elf Town. I'm going to Elf Town. Rooster oh, Teeth. Rooster Teeth. Oh gosh, I'm on Twitch. Like Let's see. Talk biz mm -hmm. now is a social network for business people. We need to get on that one. Uh, gap year. So you can bring travelers together. Oh my God. When we meet with, uh, we, I'm not even going to talk about that because I forgot we're going live. So, <laughs> but, but the travelers point, you know who I'm talking about. Hospitality. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Next. Next. He, he might Nexopia, already be there. Nexopia. Nexopia. Oh, classmates! I'm done with that. One. That's that was one of the first social medias I got on. I think it was like 2000. No, oh, my bad. Okay, let's see. Write a prisoner. Ask. <laughs> <laughs> I got stories about that one. Next cloud. That's a good one. Coopers. What is that? Hey, it's an Two million members. Network. College students. 23 and me, no, I'm not joining that social media platform. Sorry. Ancestry again, no. Vampire Freaks, maybe. Bandcamp, I heard of that. Yeah, Bandcamp is what? Remember when we set up uh Far Sides uh app? Oh, right Bandcamp, Mixed Cloud. They had all those. Mm -hmm. Good Tinder, read. Crockers. Croaks. <laughs> croaks. It's croaks. like blokes, but croaks. All right, croaks. Blokes I... that write books are called croaks. <laughs> Good I croaks. Good synonymy. <laughs> Anobi. 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 What is that bit summary? <laughs> okay. Why why not just call it gays? I mean, straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's a whole bunch of them right here on this page. So if you're into these types of social networks, their numbers 184, 185, and 186. Have at it. Femal, femal. Come That just sounds funny. Moo boy. Moo boy. Moo boy. Moo boy. Moo boy. Moo 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 Lingualo. Hello, lingo. Hello, moto. <laughs> Buju. Moto, moto. Buju. Banta. Oh. Buju. WhatsApp. Oh, there it is. They must be in. Oh, Messenger. They way down here. Well, it's, two, it's 2018. Remember. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. Stumble it's upon. Not, it's probably that. not in uh, any particular order. <laughs> now, here's another beautiful platform that. that a lot of people don't know about. It's called Telegram. And it's an instant oh, yeah, message that's that. like that. a chat room that's like a help desk. So we are in the process of putting our help desk when we get ready to get that, that big onto Telegram because it's free and it's private. You can set it up so you can only allow certain people to connect. Nice. Now, of course, YouTube and Vimeo, Funny or Die is a good one. Vines, they used to be this stuff. Now it's part of Twitter, as it says right there. Uh, Howcast is where people go to learn how to do stuff. So that's another platform that we can check out. Blogster, I use Blogster. Uh, Shutterfly, I use that. Wait, what's a Snapfish? Go back up one. With the, uh, Snapfish? Yeah. Let's see how. Right there. That's another uh, where you can store video. Okay, you remember uh, Smugmug back in the day? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Flickr just got bought by Smugmug. Oh, for real? No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, so now Flickr is now Smugmug. And Flickr was on one of the earlier pages as well. Yeah, well, we got, we're on Flickr. Remember mm -hmm. uh, when we did the launch party? That's mm -hmm. all those pictures are on Flickr. Mm -hmm. Imgur. Imgur. Dronastagram. 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 Ooh. That's a good one. We need to remember that one. Go and check out drone print photography. Yumly. Yum, 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 yum. Plenty of fish. <laughs> Pixabay's good. <laughs> Yelp. Danny Web. Oh, where IT people meet. I didn't even know about that one. Ning. Ning remember this one? Ning, 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 ning. We need to actually recreate this again. Get it monetized. Yep. Bitbucket. Slack. That's what I'm about to start jumping on Slack. That's so we can start communicating with our clients. More and more that. people are using that. That's yes, funny. they are. That's one of the many applications. Go find me in Kickstarter. Now, this was 2018. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's a 2019, but we're not going to go into it because it's not over yet. The year is not over. So, we thank you for spending time with us today as we took you through what we normally do every day is we video conference talk. But what we decided to do was invite you, the audience, to be able to come in and share our chats with us. Yeah, so, we're glad you came. What we want you to do now is join our social media group on Facebook. It's right there. And if you see it, check it out. It's right there at the bottom of the screen right there. And, you know, you can find it on facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash social media hack. We also have everything about us on our link tree uh, profile link. You can check that out. And if you're not hip to link tree, you got to get oh. into it. It's a it's a lifesaver. It put it this way: everything that you need, like you said, right there. Instagram gives you one link, and for all those other social platforms that gives you one link, that's your link to your gateway of your company, your profile, your business brand or product. Mm -hmm. So you really need to go check that out. Indeed. And for all you people that are trying to do it yourself, get our special offer. We're giving this away for free. Shows you how to set up everything. Step by step. Step by step. Getting a, a password, vault, searching for your domain, going across the board to make sure you got all the same names. Because if you look right here, Star Click Media, you search that. In fact, while I'm doing that, I'm going to bring the share back up. Share? Why don't you? And I'm going to show you guys that when you search for Star Click Media, what you see. So this is a Google search for Stock Click Media, and Stock Click Media comes up three million times, no, three trillion times. But that's because those three words actually. Make I messed that up. Let me do that again. That was wrong number. Yeah, it's the same number. Three, three trillion, no, three billion times. <laughs> 
So if you look here, you'll see majority of us right here. Uh, let me zoom in on this. Okay, so you can see that better. And you can see that you can find us all over the place. We're everywhere. The next page. And you're mostly going to see Brian's face. No, uh, you're mostly going to see Pinterest stuff. And the, the professor will be uh, on more and more of these as time goes on. You see, like this one, Medium. This is a, uh, what do you call that site? Um, where, and that was, I don't even think that was really on the uh, list, was it? I don't remember I'll seeing it. I have to check, but I don't think it was on that list. I got a new yeah, list. See. Well, we can go over it uh, next time. It's the top 57 for 2019. Right. Well, and we're also going to, um, there's a, 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 a list that I'm getting ready to redo in regards to, um, what do you call that? Uh, the tools that we're going to be using going into 2020. And it's based on what we've already used, but with enhancements because that list hasn't been updated for like three years. Ah. Uh, so, and then uh, we're also going to do an Ask Me Anything um, soon where you can come on and you can ask us anything in the chat or if you're one of our lucky contestants, we'll bring you into the show. Right so here. You'll be able to. You'll be right Right here, or well, you'll be in the middle. Right here, right there. In we'll the middle. have you like right there. You'll be right the smack dab in the middle. Yeah, that should be fun. We love to hear you know what questions you have. Uh, try to help you out, do some stuff that you haven't done before that that we have, and you might bring some new information to us. We're always open to it, so we look forward to that really soon. Well. That is it for our show today. You might be able to see this later on the replay. Um, I'm actually going to make it. It actually is public, I think. No, this is the unlisted one, so I have to make it listed. Okay. Um, but I'll probably do that after I do a few edits. But as always, <laughs> and I'll probably put a bumper on the end or something like that. But uh, we're going to show you guys how to do everything. That's why we're called Let Us Show You. Let it show you. A lot of it is going to be overwhelming because <laughs> I'm like an overwhelming type of guy. I'll try but, to rein him in so we can make yeah. it uh, digestible, you know, because he'll give you everything at once. Uh, you got to break. I'll have him break it down in pieces so we can slow down because yeah. I, I personally need that because sometimes he goes so fast. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's you see this gray? <laughs> it used to be black until I got smart, and that was at age 27. So wow. for the past 25 years, I have been going crazy with knowledge. I'm like the Steve Jobs <laughs> slash uh, Bill Gates slash Warren Buffett Ooh. mindset. You know, we that's, all went gray at an early age. That's a decent combo. Right. Got a lot going on. But next time. With a little, with a little Eddie Murphy in there. We're going to be discussing. The items that we use. Oh, man. You guys are going to love that one. That camera is just silly. This right here, my friends, is a 4K three-axis stabilization camera that fits in the palm of your hand. You can pretty much hold it like this and when, film. When you're not using it, it can fit in your pocket. You can literally. run with this. And it will stay stabilized. This is what you need in your life. I'm giving you guys the heads up. <clears throat> I got all kinds of other stuff here too. We're gonna a lot talk of do hickeys. Turn this off. Uh, another thing we're going to discuss in depth will be these Go Visions. Those are fresh, too. I got to get a pair of those. Man, these right here. So when we hit the road, we both get to get some content. If you're just standing still and you want to catch stuff, there's the camera right there. At the top is where you put the 
Where is it at? Which side? Oh, down here at the bottom. So you put the chip and then the power buttons are right there. So everything is copacetic. I don't think I haven't charged this up in a long time, so it may not come on if I try to. But <clears throat> if you look right here, let's see if it got some kind of battery. There it goes. Yep, got some battery life. So if I wanted to film right now, I just put these on, hit the button, and now it's filming. Well, the battery's dead, so I have to actually charge it up. So luckily for me, it's got, it comes with its own little charger plug, and that little bad boy is around here somewhere. Well, we'll dedicate specific time to that device, the camera, and all, you know, a bunch of other tools, actual physical tools that, that we use to, to get everything done that we do. In addition to just multiple phones. I mean, that that's almost a given. <laughs> right. You can play cards. He can play cards with those. <laughs> right. Four phones. I actually got five. I didn't show you the other one right here. <laughs> I don't have right, guys. Many, but we appreciate everything. This is uh, definitely Busy B, Brian Bacchus, and Professor Slipman, aka Jamal Smith or Jasbo. That's Professor Slipman. All right, Mr. Slipman. In fact, let's show you that that's Professor Slipman. See there. Oh, Professor. my bad. I forgot. It is Professor, Professor Slipman. Slipman. <laughs> well. Thank you all for joining our show. We're gonna be having a lot more of these things because we just want to keep it real. I ain't trying to put on no. No fancy schmancy. No. People don't care about that. All they care about is getting the information how to do it. So keep it real. Time give to time, all we'll the good be, content. We'll be doing share screens. I'll be showing you stuff. In fact, just to leave you with a little something, something, I'm going to share what I'm working on right now with you. Just going to share screen. And so right now, I'm working on a video. Video that um, hopefully will turn out to be quite nice. Can you hear the sound? Mm -mm. Oh, oh, you know what? Probably because I got the headset plugged in. But yeah, all these little elements. We're going to be doing some tutorials on how to do this. Oh, that good stuff, baby. So yeah, we got, a, we got a lot to talk about. We, we do so much that we have now decided that we're going to share how we do stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, every day we're going to give you a snippet, but we're going to mostly do this on like Mondays and Tuesdays. So not this Monday coming up because that's a holiday. Yeah. But Tuesday is going to be Motivational Mondays and Tech Tuesday. So Motivational Mondays will be <clears throat> where we go to get inspired to get our content. I'm like, and, and being in California, we have so many different aspects of our uh, city and state that we can go to. Like, you know, during the winter, we can drive up to the mountains and be snowing and skiing and come back down here and go straight surf the beach. Yep. All in one day. You get it all. And we're going to start doing that. We're going to have a like a weekend adventure show where we just go up and we're going to film our stuff and we're going to bring it back and show it to you. We're going to edit it and we're going to, you're going to love it. We're going to do stuff that people haven't done before. Yep. We're going to have some fun. You guys should have some fun as well. Stock click media, baby. We everywhere. Let us show you. Let us show you. Wait till the, wait till the Steelers uh, football season starts and I use this, touch this bad boy. Woo! What about them Raiders, though, man? I mean, come on. Well, you got to come down there to the man cave and, you know, when the Steelers play the Raiders, but they ain't going to have them for another two years because that <laughs> stupid, dumb situation that happened when we went to kick the ball. And he oh, decided man. to want to kick it with both feet. Uh, right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> whole other story. Yeah, whole other story. But thank All right, you, everybody. We appreciate I'm busy it. Professor Slipman, peace out. Till next time. Peace.